Hello everyone, I'm Mr. MochaLover, and thank you for joining me here at Overall Blue. So, this isn't where we left off, but let me explain a few things first. So, uh, I've made a few mistakes in this campaign so far, playing as Nevada, or attempting to reform Nevada, but I'm currently at the point where we don't have enough legitimacy to actually take the focus. Now, as you can tell, I have a blue NCR, I've actually completed a lot of the stuff. I made a video detailing me, you know, going through the NCR, N NCR war and stuff like that, but, you know what? I don't have le enough legitimacy, so we're going to do a real, somewhat quick, uh, time lapse so that we have enough legitimacy to get to the state of Nevada, and I'll see you on the other side.
Alright my friends, and thank you for sticking around with the time lapse, at least those of you who are still watching, which hope all of you are, but regardless. So, as you saw, I made a few decisions that I didn't take last time, just to make sure that we had enough legitimacy. And right now I'm going to do this focus, because we weren't able to do it before, with the state of Nevada. Now, I don't know how much legitimacy we have currently, but it's enough. Support for the Old World Party the NCR and our efforts to bring order to the wastes have meant that the people in both California and Nevada now recognize us as a region's legitimate government. Finally, we can do this. It only took me replaying the game. That's all. It actually didn't take too long, so. Very, very good. New Cadence to go around White Legs. Obviously, as you just saw at the very end of that time lapse, I took out Vault City as well as Vault City lands of the Pale Folk. So that was really good for us. Even though we probably have more resistance, I've done a few things differently. For example, um, regarding this, I still need to support Old World Party, which is fine. I have not done the mutant question, which I will still go down segregation, just because that's why I kind of figured out what. what let me speak. I can't speak right now. That is what we did last time. I'm going to keep that, but we're going to get that legitimacy first. That's the most important thing. And then we do New Reno, which will be fun. And then finish this all stuff, even though we technically already did it earlier in this campaign, but technically not. So. It is what it is, but we will rebuild the power grid, so we will do pretty well. But I just wanted to make sure that we could actually go down uh, the state of Nevada. So if you saw you saw earlier in this episode, really early in the beginning, we had two NCRs, or just actually one blue NCR. I did the Civil War. By the end of that Civil War, I was just wouldn't I wasn't able to get enough legitimacy, which was unfortunate. So, but you know, it's always fun playing the Enclave and making the right decisions. 4,000 manpower, really, pretty awesome, really pretty awesome, we're still getting some more intellectual support, I asked you guys yesterday in the last video whether we should get more support for Lynette, or for intellectuals and Granite, so really, either one, I'm really open to either one, I'm probably going to stay with Granite and make Lynette VP, you know, Vice President if possible, and of course, I also made sure that... Santa Ana took over the group again. Makes sense. NCR is pretty large, pretty powerful. We got about one and a half political power a day. Not too bad. We still need to hide from them, which is unfortunate. But we could spend a few caps to lower this by a little bit more. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. That's a little better. 145. That's, we could do NCR Radio. Hmm. We could do Vault City at University, which we will do eventually. I just can't afford it right now. That's expensive. We have 100% stability. Um, yeah, I'll definitely have to do this one. It costs so much more now, though, but... Hey, welcome back to New Vegas Radio with the, sh the show with, if I may say so, the best-looking audience around. We've received reports from Northern Nevada that New Reno united the local tribes, Raiders, and Vault City, and is now calling itself the Commonwealth of Nevada. Ain't that cute. Some folks say this is an enclave plot, but Governor Granite said New Nevada uh, merely welcomed all who wished to live in peace within its borders and to please report the location of any enclave spies to his offices. Check out the new flag. Ah, oh, Battleborn, my friends. Absolutely Battleborn. Oh, war propaganda. No, no, no. Nevada broadcasting sounds like fun. The reunited states will bring peace to everyone. Eventually, we lose political power and war support for more stability. Promote support for Nevada. Yes. Recruitment drive. No. Back to California. Oh, California remains the heart of the West Coast, and the NCR is the largest post-war government. How we handle them could determine the fate of America. More technocracy. NCR Radio, send out spies, that might be good. Expedition to the Sierra Madre, ooh, yes, support the caravans, the Cassidy caravan, yes. In the meantime, grab some of that. I guess we still have to hide ourselves from the NCR, which is fine, whatever. Oh my goodness, we got things opened up to us now, which is awesome. The con job, securing the big empty, the big MT. Oh, I want to do all this stuff. Ooh, that doesn't look super great for us. Ooh, Department of the Interior. Subdue the rest of Nevada. I still want to form the NCR Rangers, which will be fun. Ooh, no, we can't do that. Ooh. Expand the definition of human. Conquer... Ooh. I don't like that. Regardless, we're going to go down this path first. So, our new city. There were enough disaffected elements of Vault City that we've been able to secure their loyalty. This is the second city of the reunited states. Good. Uh, establish an embassy. Might as well do that. NCR radio. Might as well do that too. Actually, it might be best to, to actually wait to do that, but whatever. 
Could use more war supports. War support? Oh, we changed our colors too. Now we're known as Nevada. Yep, freedom's right of every Westlander. Armageddon Station. They get a nuke. Sick Transit Gloria. Cool. Uh, I really don't care what they're doing. Oh, wow, there's a lot of intellectual support down there. But we still get some more... Yeah, we still get more intellectual support, but there's still quite a chunk of elites down there. Richard Grant. Granite. Oh. Also, do these become cores? All of our territory? They should... Yeah, I guess not. Oh, no, Vault City definitely is not. The NCR Rangers join the NCR. So in this campaign, the Desert Rangers have gone down the NCR route instead of the Brotherhood route. Which is, you know, it's okay. No occupation. What do we do with that? Do we still get any data compliance gain? No, we do not. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. Huh. Ah, that is because, my friends, I still made sure that Granite is charismatic. And look at that Battleborn flag in the background. Mmm, I love it. Uh, let's make sure we do this without spending army XP this time, just because we want to do the, the Department of Defense focuses, or foci, on the far right of the uh, focus tree. Ah, oh, good, good, good. The Gecko power plant's important. Vault City and Gecko could not cooperate, meaning their power supply was a fraction of what it could be. Now that we've united them, aren't we all better off? Yes, we are. And I am purposely not going to war with Modoc just yet because, well, I can't afford that. It's going to take a while to do with this. War propaganda, bring peace to everyone. Yeah, this is... Eh, promote support for Nevada seems pretty good. So tensions within the NC... Within the Desert Rangers. I need spies. Hmm. To leave or ignore an NCR alliance. Ooh. Support the caravans. That seems like a good idea. So, when Sharon Cassidy came to us, she was down on her luck and down in the bottle. But underwriters in Reno looked at her experience. It was clear she'd only gone under due to pressure from Western caravans. With some financial support, judicious plasma blasts, and improved security, everything's coming up roses. Awesome. That's actually really good. It was not like, you know, amazingly amazing, but that's still pretty awesome. I still need one more political power, which is fine. Send out spies. I do. I could do that. Well, I guess we'll do that now. Just because I don't want to do it too much. Spies could get revealed when they're in the NCR. And after the Gekko power plant, then we'll go ahead and do support for old world party stuff, which will be important to do. So instead of taking, you know, antelope tribes, we got the Pale Folk. It is what it is. Sky Reavers, NCR Rangers. Uh, Kaisar. NCR has not gone to war with the Raptors yet. They're taking out... It's the scorpions, which is interesting. Let's see, anything else here? Not really too much. And the Gekko power plant. And... Boom. Nice. Let's go and get this real quick. Support for Old World Party. Should we decide to coexist with the NCR? Our only option may to install a regime that will be more sympathetic to our goals and forgiving of our past. The Old World Party in the NCR is the ally we need to accomplish this. Let us see how we can help them help us. Good. There's a lot of things you gotta, we got to do before we actually go to war with uh, uh, anyone else, really. So, Chemtrade, I think I've already read this. They're probably huffing Brahmin poop. Yeah, I think I read this last time. We do not do that. We're probably going to do that. Yeah. More legitimacy is always good. Power armor. Ooh. Oh, we have plenty of guns. Plenty of guns. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We should be good on guns for quite a while. Still training our soldiers, which is good. Train them if you need to. Hopefully the NCR doesn't go to war with Nevada, because Nevada is an amazing thing. Propaganda tour. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That looks really, really good. Support Old World Party stuff. Call in favors. We're sending out spies, which is a good thing to do now. Good. Yeah, a little more oligarchic support, which is fine with me for right now. Crack the code, we can wait. We're gonna wait to do this stuff, because I need to start coring stuff. Alright, rebid the power grid. Gaining popular support through rule of law and democracy is nice, but ensuring an adequate power supply will show that our enemies have always been in the dark. Good. Good, good, good. Actually, love lock. A lot of places get it. Carlin. Oh, yeah. Oh, we actually took more. Hmm. Are you telling me that if... Let's say we take these guys out. Do we get cores on them immediately? Or civilian power grids? Add one civilian power... Eh. Eh. That's alright. We can probably... Let's just keep going on for now. 
Good, build up all the city. Oh, turn that off. Thank you. Wow, we actually got quite a few factories. That's awesome. Manpower's looking awesome as well. Where do we not have a thousand things right there? A thousand. Oh, just. That's the only place with resistance. Battle Mountain, why is that? I mean, we're still getting more compliance, which I love, but. I even cord. Why is this cord? Hey, this is a cord already. Cool. Awesome stuff, my friends. Awesome, awesome stuff. Is there anything I could do here? War propaganda? No. Reveal ourselves. Vault City. Ex expedition. Administrative stuff. Mm. Mm, technocracy. Recruitment drive. Well, I don't can't do that. Expedition to the Sierra Madre. It's believed to be nothing more than a Mojave legend, a fabled city of gold where fortune could be found. Good thing we have a map. Oh, loot the Sierra Madre or deploy the holograms. Defense on core territory for 50 days. Casino's vault contains a valuable stock of gold. Well, now it's government property. Um, we might want to wait on that. We might, not, we might want to save that for later. Or just take it for now. Nice. Let's see, currently one and a half political power. Rebuild the power stations. Get a little bit of resistance. The vice royalty has been annexed. Not bad, not bad. We're getting more army XP every day, which I really like. Ooh, we gonna need some doggos here too. Yeah, that'd be good to get some, a few doggos here and there to help put down some resistance if we need to. Of course, we we always need more power armor, but you know. This actually helps slaves on advanced components, which actually will help us produce a few things more quickly for now. Good. December. Go ahead and grab that without doing that. Khazar's Legion. Good. We have Atsalan. Good. Support Old World Party immediately. And then send out more spies. Metalworking. Two years ahead. Basically do that now. So yeah, all we're missing are power armor. We're making dog a day. Nice. Rebuild the power grid. Great. Civilian power grid. Next up. Nationalized Mojave Express. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Hmm. I can just straight up annex him. That's awesome. Uh, let's see what this does. Securing the Big MT. The Big MT was one of the greatest sites of pre war research, and rumors of flickering lights haunted the night, suggesting there could still be much to be gained from an expedition to its ruins. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, I, this cannot get undone since we've already done it, which is good because I, I know some people don't want me to do it like this, but we're still going with the mutant question. Nice. Very nice. I should probably save it some more political power. The League of Citizens, as it turns out, many wastelanders have their own views of ghouls, mutants, and primitives. First citizen, citizen Lynette of Vault City has joined ranks with many enclave moderates who think that civilized wastelanders are real Americans, but the travels need a firm guiding hand, and mutants and ghouls need a plasma blast. Too many Vault City is a model town, peaceful and prosperous, and the comparison to the rough draft of New Reno or Shady Sands only bolsters their views. Lynette has League of Citizens promising to rebuild all of America and the Vault City's image. One step back. We've kind of already done this yesterday, but this gives me... Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Let us go forward together. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of political power for this. Oh, my goodness. But luckily, I haven't been caught yet at all, so that's actually not too bad. Not bad. Got a good amount of manpower still. NCR Clay War on the Rapids. Good. Securing the big MT. Mm hmm. Nice. Not bad. We're going to have upgrades. We still have 60 army XP right now. Nevada? Well, it looks okay. We need all this territory, though. Oh, my goodness. And hopefully... Uh, you know what? We're still going to go to segregation. I was thinking about doing this, but... We've already done what we need to do with our legitimacy. And while this looks great... Mm, oh, well. Accept ghouls. Reject ghouls, a common enemy. <laughs> cool. Good, good, good. And we're almost done with the big, securing the big MT. And I will go to where the Yakuza territory is probably the next episode, just because, or maybe here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. 
And someone suggested when I do that, I preserve Japanese culture just because most people don't ever choose to preserve Japanese culture. Which I guess makes sense, you know. Makes sense. Hmm. And done. Okay, expedition to the Big Empty. Before the war, one of the greatest centers of R&D was a Big Empty. Long thought to be destroyed, whispers of eerie lights in the night at the center of the site inspired an expedition. To our surprise, we found a realm of wonders and terrors, cybernetic enhancements, holographic technology, and new ceramics, but also shambling corpses, robotic scorpions, and malevolent fauna. As the vertebrates descend, passing over the corpse of some poor courier, the president must do with what he wants with the facility. Be careful, we don't know what we'll find... What te forbidden technology we'll find? Oh, the think tank. To our surprise, pre-war scientists have survived in the think tank, adapting robotic bodies. Time has not been kind, and they are clearly insane in the mainframe. While most dream of leaving to experiment in the wastes, the one called Mobius has warned us that this will only end in tears. A few had suggested that it might be worth supporting their research. There's no stopping progress. Shut them down. Eh, that's probably a good idea. Persuade them to stay in the Big MT. Nice. That's interesting. I didn't know that would happen. So now... I should probably save my political power, or lest we get found out and caught. Hmm. Rest restoring the Big MT. I like that. Reclaiming Area 51. Dep I want to do the Department of the Interior. So we have 71. 2.56 a day. We have 25 days. We could maybe make it. Let's see, 2 times 28 is usually 56. Plus 0.5. Oh, get we get pretty close. And we got enough cast to do that, so... 25 days, we get 250, 50. Oh, we'll be pretty close to do that. Cool. Go and train a little bit more. Thomas Rimmy, Rim. I wonder if he's down under. Hmm. <laughs> attack. Go and go, night person. For this person. Awesome. Oh. Oh, someone did tell me yesterday in yesterday's video at the end of. Uh, yesterday's video for me to play as High Chapel sometime. Cool, I might. We'll see what happens. I really don't know. Maybe. So, we'll see what happens. So, tensions, that would be great, but we can't quite do that yet. We've got to hide a few more activities from the NCR. And, yep, we were close. My math was pretty much good enough to figure that out. Great. And... Mm -hmm. Department of the Interior. We will never call Nevada home until we persuade the tribals and settlers of the state to join our cause and shoot the raiders who harass everyone else. Absolutely. Absolutely. And now we have uh, a negative amount of political power, but uh, whatever, you know, whatever. That's okay. We are doing really well with this stuff. So, what is not cord currently? Battle Mountain. If that's true, which it is, immediately do that. We can get rid of that walking tanks. And we're going to go with principle instead of purity, just because I'm going to save purity for when we play the pure path for the Enclave. Department of the Interior. Next up, sponsor following schools. Department of Agriculture, that'd be kind of nice. We'll lose some legitimacy eventually. Infrastructure, civilian. Nationalized Mojave Express. With the expansion of post-apocalyptic society across the American Southwest, courier groups like the Mojave Express have appeared to take on that difficult task of carrying letters and packages over enormous distances. And with the rise of a centralized government in Nevada, that role can be served by the Nevada Postal Service, the NPS. Ah, what a great service. Now oh, the troll warrant looking pretty mighty, mighty. Wow. White Lugs are trying to kill off New Canaan. Sky Reavers just killed off the Grabber territory. I'd say we're doing pretty darn well. Pretty darn well. Even though we do want to take out New Vegas eventually. Do we have claims on more than just Modoc? Oh, Yakuza tribes. Yeah, I can't really afford to get too much bigger right now. As we're still trying to hide from the NCR. Oh, wait, what the heck? Department of the Interior? Oh, we can just straight up annex them? Shoshone? Eastport? We get a war goal against the Mojave chapter. Face the fiends. Oh, Raider Tech have been part of the daily horrors of Wasteland of Life. For many towns on the border of our controlled territory, this has not changed. Recently, another report has come in about a small town ravaged by a Raider game. But this time, we have a solid lead on the location of other perpetrators. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need that legitimacy. Thank you very much. Even though we're going to reduce its relevancy by quite a bit later on. So, 
No, actually it gives us more political power, compliance, and mobilization speed. That's not too bad. Annex, we just straight up annex. War, oh, we get an annex war goal. It might be because we don't border them, maybe? I don't know. Uh, support the old war party. I really doubt. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's interesting. I don't ever see them do that. That's okay. We still get a war goal against them, probably. Hopefully. But... Okay, so right now, their intellectual party support is at 43%. That's not bad. Could be better, though. 43 point... Oh, it's going up. They're going to the independence of Vegas. The Baron's War. Oh, Enclave Propaganda. That's right, we did do that. July 4th, huh? How fitting. East Coast Exiles. To our astonishment, a group of unrecognized vertebrate have approached our location with a legitimate Enclave call sign. They're led by a lieutenant named Schultz exporting or exporting Enclave Power Armor. Schultz traveled from the Raven Rock facility in the Capital Wasteland, leading a vert assault team dispatched by Colonel Autumn to salvage assets from the Ashes of Navarro and the Rig. The mission was a suicide errand designed by Autumn to purge opposition from his ranks. Those that survived found us not ruins. While news of this illegitimate President Eden is troubling, most of the Enclave's vertebrates went east with Autumn's father, and Schultz's tactical experience could prove invaluable in integrating air power with Enclave ground forces. Awesome. But unfortunately, that's where we're going to have to leave it for today. We have done pretty well for ourselves. We've formed Nevada, finally. We've got enough legitimacy, even though we still can't read that number. And Granite is still leading for now. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and let me know in the comments. When we get there, what should our intelligence agency be? Regardless, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.